Yo guys, Cody the Animator 2K9 here. Today, we're go I'm going to be showing you how to get Rapper Offline working in 2023. As you can see, I'm using a virtual machine because I've already installed this onto my main PC. So there's a few steps you need to do. The custom assets are optional, though. You don't need those. You, you can have them if you want, but I, it, it, it puts more experience into the Rapper Offline. This is all the things you're going to need because you need Node.js, Flash, and of course Wrapper Offline itself, and of course the custom assets. So what, what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is get Node.js because not a lot of people, there's a lot of people that want to get Wrapper Offline, but there's not a lot of Flash links. I saved a Flash when there was links. I saved Flash 18 on an old computer, so now I, I made a link for it for all you guys. And we're going to start off by going to get Node.js, our first one we're going to do. So this is not going to work for Mac users. So if you're a Mac user and you're watching this, this is only for Windows, not Mac. Because I don't know, I, I'm a Windows person. So we're going to click Windows Installer, then it says if it's not going to harm your computer, just hit the Keep button. So now you can wait for it to be done. It's going to take a minute. <coughs> it's taking, okay, it's done. So we're going to go ahead and drag it to our desktop. And you should probably just enable, uh, certain antiviruses may block all this. So you, if you have something like PCmatic or something, you probably want to disable the, the super shield or super block or whatever it's called. So now you're going to double click node.js. Welcome to the node.js setup wizard. Now you're going to click next. Then you want to accept the terms. Not really important. Then hit the next button. <coughs> Don't change this. This should be fine. And hit the next button. Next. Automatically install necessary tools. I don't think we need that. So we're going to click next and we're going to install. Then you're going to click yes if it runs it as an administrator. <coughs> Copy new files. And there we go, it's done. That means you've completed the first step installing Node.js. So we're going to hit the finish button and there you go. That's how you do it. You should probably keep this just in case you need it. So we should open File Explorer and save it to a folder that you remember. Something like the Documents folder. That should be fine. Alright, so now our next step. Now that you got Node.js, I created uh, I created a link for it. So now that you can go and close this tab. Next, you want to go and install Flash. All these links are in the description, by the way. But I have them on a doc. So you're going to want to go to the link in the description and get Flash. I created a link. So what you're going to do, you can otherwise hit this button or this button, it doesn't matter, just hit the download button. If it starts loading forever, just close it again, then hit the download button again, and it should work. Sometimes it gets stuck, because it should work. It just gets stuck, like, the inter my internet's crappy. Okay, there we go. Now you want to hit down, it says can't scan for viruses, you just hit download anyway. <clears throat> so just hit keep if it says that. This is the, this is Flash 18. You want to make sure your antivirus does not update Flash. If it does, you can go ahead and go back to this link. Come back to this tutorial and click the Flash link in the description. Once again, drag this to your desktop. There you go. Go and close the link now. Now you're going to go ahead and double click on Flash. You're going to click Yes on Administrator. Alright, Flash 18 install. You're going to click I have read and agree to the terms and hit install. I just turn this off. All right, maybe to restart your browser. Just now, you want to hit never check for updates. Not recommend. You want to hit that because Flash is out of support now. So hit done, and there you go. Once again, we're gonna save our Flash installation in the Documents folder or any folder that you think you'll remember it in. For me, I'll use Documents. Of course, now we're going to go get the wrapper offline. 2.0 and this is not local. So this does not run local. So it works very well. The voices work and it never breaks. It never breaks. This does not run local, so you're not going to get that local host error that most wrapper offlines get. This is wrapper offline 2.0.0. This is what I've been using for months now and it's done me very well. So you're going to want to click wrapper offline win32 x64.zip. You're going to go and click that and it's going to download. This may take a well, it's not going to take long for me because it's just not taking long. Depends on what this works on all Windows devices. It could be a laptop or it could be a laptop or a PC. All Windows devices. I'm using a virtual machine just because 
of different reasons. Because I already have Wrapper Offline on my main desk, so I don't want to install it again because I probably won't be able to delete it. Alright, now it should be installed. We're going to drag this to our desktop. Alright. Now, before we continue, we're going to go to WinRAR, link in the description. We're going to go to WinRAR Download, and we're going to install WinRAR. Unless I already have, do I have WinRAR? No, I don't. Okay. So, we're going to go download WinRAR now in the description. I forgot to put the link in the doc, but the link will be in the description. You want to hit Download WinRAR. And if you're using a 32-bit of Windows, just click here for the 32-bit version. Alright. So, we're just going to download the free trial. Just hit download free trial and then we're going to hit keep. Alright, and there you go. That kind of confused me for a minute. Okay, and there you go. Now you should have it downloaded. I'm going to go and double click and hit yes. Okay, now you're going to hit install. I go now. I'm going to turn on ISO. You should probably disable the following ones. I'm just going to disable these or disable these. So I just recommend RAR, ZIP, 7Z, and ISO. So keep those on. And there you go. And then you're done. Alright, close this. Now, once again, keep this in your documents folder or any folder that you think it's safe in. Now we can open up wrapper offline. So we're just going to close that window that pops up. And now we're going to go ahead and extract it to our desktop. This could take a, this could take a few minutes, depending on what system you're using. It depends how fast your computer is, which I'm using a virtual machine, so it's probably half the speed of my gaming PC. My main computer speed is probably about half the speed. We're going to give it a few minutes now. <coughs> this could take, this could probably take an hour depending what system you're using. But this tutorial works for Windows 7 and newer. Windows 7 and newer, this tutorial will work for. This is for Windows 7 or newer. So, there we go. Wrapper offline should be here now. So now we're going to go put this in. We're going to save this thing in your folder. So I'm once again going to put it back in here. Alright, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but we're going to install custom assets. And this is actually a YouTube tutorial because I don't know how to do this myself. So I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, this is a tutorial of how to do it. So we're going to be... Getting custom assets now. I just need to know what to put the folder in. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's just optional. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, I did a sec. Alright. So we're going to want to go to Resources, App Server, Store, then whatever this folder is, and then CC Store. So we're going to download the custom assets now. So what we're going to do, this will also be in the description, the custom assets. So we're going to go here. Well, the U the YouTube video will be in the description if you want to follow that. Check my notification. So now you're going to want to hit the download button and then close these pop-ups. Don't want to download any viruses. I don't, I don't care about cookies. Okay, and then once again, drag this to your desktop. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this folder path on. You're going to want to follow these. So, I'm probably not going to put the video in the description, I'll put the link, I'll put the actual link in the description because you got the folder stuff here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Wrapper Offline, but before we do that, we're going to right click and make a new folder and we're going to want to name it Family. I know that. Then you're going to open your thing and you're going to want to extract these to the Family folder now. <coughs> So this, this could take a while, once again, depending on your uh, computer. Alright, so now we got our new family folder created. Now we're going to want to go to Resources, App, uh, Server, Store, then whatever this folder is, and then you're going to go CC Store, <coughs> and we're going to delete the family folder, the, the old one. We're going to delete it. So you can hit the delete key, and there you go. Now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to move this into the folder here. And there you go. Because replacing it will take longer, so I recommend just deleting the old one then moving it. Once again, it could take a while depending on your system. Refresh it a couple times, and there you go. So now we can once again save this in our folder. And there you go. Let's go ahead and clear our recycle bin.
with our old family. You should probably keep this family folder as a backup, though. So we're going to go ahead. Before you do delete it, we're going to go here and save the family folder. Just in case this doesn't work. Because this could be dangerous. So we'll, put the, we'll save this into our folder. So now what we're going to do is we can close the tutorial up. Now we can go to wrapper offline and it should work if you've done this correctly. It may take a minute. It, it, this takes a while to open. Now you're going to want to hit allow access. Alright. And there you go. We got wrapper offline now. So now you want to go to the character creator and make sure you got your custom assets. This is, you don't have to do, you don't need custom assets. This is an optional option, but the other ones are, are, uh, required. So you can go here to your character. There you go, you got all the custom assets now. Check that out, guys. You have a lot of assets. You got a lot of clothes now to put on your character. There you go. That is how to get Rapper Offline in 2023. I'm just going to make a random dude here. We can make him. Um, put a put a Caillou shirt on him. That'd be cool. Now we can save him. Now, there you go. <clears throat> now we got to go make a video. And we can go Comedy World. So now it's loading everything. There you go. You got your wrapper now. That's how you do it. This is your wrapper offline. Now you can bring out your character. And also, all the voices. This does not run localhost either, uh, happily. So you don't have to get uh, you don't have to get annoyed with that stupid localhost error. So we're gonna do test, test. Test one two three, and test 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 one two three. It works. So now we can save it. Test. <laughs> Got the description. Then you can save and close. There you go. I can play your video. Test 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 one two three. And there you go. That's how you do it. And that is how to get Rapper Offline in 2023. 2023. And you should probably also restart your computer to make sure everything's good. That's You don't have to do it, though, but it would be cool. So you go ahead and shut down. Well, I'm going to shut down my virtual machine now. Shut down my machine. Then that's how to get Rapper Offline in 2023. <clears throat> for all the users that don't know how to get Flash 18. Because since there's not no more links for it anymore, since they're all, since they're all broken... See you guys later. Enjoy Rapper Offline.